Hi guys! Are you facing a problem with the stock firmware of your Creality and the 3 Max Neo? Or just want to upgrade to a more recent version? In this video, we will explain how you can flash a new firmware version on the board and also on the display of the Creality and their 3 Max Neo. So stay tuned! Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Rui and this is the Rui Raptor YouTube channel. If you want to help us out, you can by giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel. You can also help by joining our Patreon page or by clicking on any of the affiliate links posted below in the video description. So, there are different reasons for someone to want to flash a new firmware on their 3D printer. Either the current firmware has an issue and the only way to fix it is to flash a new one over the old one, or the current installed firmware is not the most recent one and we want to update it or modify it with extra options or simply change the firmware type altogether. In any case, regardless where you get the new firmware version from, the procedure to flash it is basically the same. And this is what we will explain in this video. For our tutorial, we will update the stock firmware of our Creality Ender 3 Max Neo and for both the main board and display. The version that is currently installed is the 1.2.2C, but if we search on the Creality's website, we can see that there is a more recent version available for this printer. They provide some instructions here, but let's go through everything step by step. So, Let's start by downloading the file. This is a compressed file, so we need to extract the contents first. Creality recommends to use a memory card formatted with an allocation unit size of 4096, so let's do exactly that. We select the memory card that we want to format, and remember that this will wipe all the contents of the memory card, and here select 4096, and then Format. When done, copy the folder and this file to the memory card. These files are for the display. To flash the display, we need to insert the memory card on the display's memory card slot, but to do that, we need to open it to access the memory card slot. Before starting this, make sure that the printer is turned off. Next, remove the display from the mount and unplug the cable. To open the display, we need to unscrew the four screws located at the back. Careful when opening the back cover. Lift the side first and then the other side. This is because the cover has latches on one of the sides. Insert the memory card in the card slot and connect the display to the printer. Make sure that the exposed electronics of the display do not touch any metal. Turn the printer on and a few seconds later, the display will light up and show a progress bar. When done, turn the printer off, disconnect the display, remove the memory card and close the display. Next, connect the display again and attach it to the printer. And the update to the display is complete. And the worst part is also done. Now comes the easiest part, which is the board update. Go back to your computer and delete the files used to update the display from the memory card. And then copy the bin file to the memory card. This bin file is the firmware file for your board. And being with the bin extension means that it's compiled and ready to install into the board's microcontroller. Insert the memory card in the printer's memory card slot and turn the printer on. A few seconds later, the printer will start as normal and the update is complete. You can access the info menu and check the version installed to confirm. If you want to learn more about how to modify and compile your firmware, you can check some of the videos we have that explain all that in detail. 
check the links for those videos below in the description. Also, if you want to know more about the Creality Ender 3 Max Neo, stay tuned because soon we will upload more videos about it. And that's it you guys, hope this video was useful, we will see you guys next time. Bye!